early on in his innings when Wahab Riaz was bowling with pure aggression. Uh, and then it was uh, Glenn Maxwell after that who was dropped on five. A bit later on in the innings. Uh, but it's just so frustrating as a bowler, isn't it? You, you're working your hardest and you're setting the batsman up and then this happens in the outfield. Well, I think we saw the reaction from Wahab Riaz there, how disappointed he was because he really was bowling at tremendous pace. And yes, we know Shane Watson is usually a good puller, but the puller of pace and the puller of real pace is slightly different. Mm. Wahab Riaz was bowling really quickly. And it's not that easy to pull deliveries like of, of that pace as we saw with that mistimed hook. A bit later on, when Wahab Riaz wasn't quite as sharp, getting a little bit weary, and the ball getting a little bit softer, and of course him, him growing in confidence, played the shot beautifully. Looked very, very nice. Mm. But Wahab Riaz, I think, has shown everyone exactly how quickly he can bowl, and he's a bother when he bowls that quickly. Yeah, Chipali is a real entertainer, isn't he? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I've seen him for a while now. I didn't quite realise he was that good. You know, I thought uh, it, probably the last 12 months or so, he seems to have picked up a little bit of pace. I remember seeing him in the early days when he played in England, mm. uh, in, in series in England, and maybe the difference in the pitches England to Australia uh, could uh, explain it. But he seems to have picked up a little bit of pace. But the thing that was very impressive about that spell was the competitiveness. You know, he really that he was the guy who had to to lead. You know, we talked yesterday or the other day about Sri Lanka and needing someone to drag him along. Well, he uh, he obviously realised he was the man to do that for Pakistan. And he, there's one thing about realising it, but then there's another thing about actually going out and, and doing it. And, and you talked about how disappointing it is when you put in that sort of effort and then a guy drops a dolly at fine leg. And that, that really sucked the air out of Pakistan's uh, balloon. Just look at the two wickets that he picked up in the end for Pakistan. He was running in with uh, quite a fierce attitude and probably G'd up a little bit by uh, his little running in with uh, Mitch Stark in the first innings, Michael. Yeah, it was on, wasn't it, for both of them? I mean, the competitive juices kicked in and, uh, you know, his spell really turned it around for, for the Pakistanis, gave themselves a chance. And as, as we said, he bowled quick, but for a shortish guy, he really got some good bounce too. And then the direction um, and the quality the accuracy. It was just a super spell and, um, you know, one of the best of the tournament so far.